welcome back to my channel it is leah you're tuned into lucidity leah thank you for watching can we just talk about the glow like baby i'm glowing right now you see me <laughs> came on here because i'm giving like a little bit of an update and a little bit of tea but i'll give y'all tea because today is the last day of one of my jobs um if you don't know i have like 15 jobs and Finally, today I am going into my last day of work. Well, second to last day. I have like my, my shift on Thursday and then I'm done. But this is like the second to last shift and it just, I just have like such gratitude in my heart because to give a little testimony, a little backstory on this job, I've been in this job for three years. It's been ups and downs, a lot of Lord, why am I still here? A lot of like, <laughs> I wanna go, like I'm ready to go, Lord. Like I have like 16 other positions, like I'm tired. And I originally got this job at a time in my life where I was not where I needed to be in Christ. I got the job in 2019 and I was not where I needed to be in Christ. But, you know, I knew I've always known God, you know, I've always known him. Just never really was on the same page with him about t around the time. Just wasn't on the same page with him around the time when I got this job. And I was driving here today. I was just like, oh, my gosh, I'm so excited to be done. Like, whoa, like can't wait to be done with this. I can tell I have shift. Whoop, whoop. And I had to really be humbled and think about like think back holy spirit was like hold on now player remember when you first got this job like when i first got this job i had been like working like some summer job i think it was like a pool attendant or something like that and before that i had quit my job at olive garden which that's a whole testament in itself ghetto but i thought i got a lot of lessons from that we don't stand to olive garden but <laughs> beside the point at the end of like august i had applied for this job i actually got this job through my sister and i was like Whew, like all right like i need this job really bad you know i was i was need i was pressed for money when this job came around i was really really pressed and i was like really praying to get this like position because i needed it like i didn't have it and i needed money like now like the pool job had ended and i was like trying to find something quick and i also was going into a new school year and around this time like i said i was just wasn't where i needed to be but i was really trying to get back on track and he had to remind me like girl when you got this job so many things are different in my life so many things are different at this job like so many different people and all that but the biggest thing was just like his favor and what he did through this job like throughout the years as i said it has been ups and downs you know there were so many times during this job where i wanted to quit where i wanted to cut somebody out and where i didn't understand why i was still here especially when i graduated college um that's a whole story in itself of when I graduated, I basically was like, okay, like I'm about to go get this corporate job. And he was like, no, 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 like stay in the jobs I have you in. But those jobs in my mind were these are just jobs so I, till I graduated. Like I'm about to go to the corporate job. I'm about to go, you know, I'm about to go to where the money's at. And he was like, no, like I want you to stay. And I was frustrated, but I stayed. I was obedient because safest place in the whole wide world is in the will of God. Shout out to Karen, shout out to Kira Sheard because it really is true. And I knew that any job I was trying to apply for, which I was, I was applying for different jobs and stuff and all of them would fall through because it wasn't the will of God. And he was clear like, girl, you can keep applying to wherever you want. You can go on Indeed every day. You can get a snag a job. You ain't snagging nothing. You're in here and I got you here for a reason. And to get to this moment today and realize like all the different things, like I had a lot of things in me that had to get worked out and he needed to get people in my face to work it out. Um, and it wasn't like i said it wasn't all in positive ways like i had to have situations arise in my job because you know corporate america you can have a couple people could try you and i had to have those happen because so much of me was so so scared to stand up for myself so scared to step out and be who i was in christ but also just be who i was as leah and he was like there's some things i gotta get worked out before i take you to your next like i gotta i gotta take you to your next level um and i can't do that until you get what i need you to get here so i stayed like i said um i ended up moving up in a certain position i met so many people here through this job that didn't know christ but when it came in contact with me i was gonna make sure they knew main purpose was to share christ and so many people had you know accepted christ knew who christ was even if they didn't accept him they just didn't know who he was and, and did you know through god's divine timing through god's divine appointments that he made some days when i would go in and it, and it would always be the days that i didn't want to go that god would do something like extraordinary he would like perform a miracle and i'd be like oh like good thing i came into work because you know that couldn't happened or like i wasn't even gonna come today 
and it would just be like wow like it is so important for me to be here and this is not some like big like wig job like this is a simple like retail position but he will use every and anything and that was the biggest lesson that I could take away was like God was using me to bring Christ not even bring Christ in a way of like I had to share the gospel because sometimes I did but other times it was just in how I acted my mannerism um how I treated others it represented his son you know it represented who Jesus was how I interacted with customers and stuff you know it just it solidified people like okay something a little different but not for my benefit but to put a smile on someone else's face you know like I said again there were times I come in and I would have a co-worker who was just going through it and I take that opportunity you know you want to say a prayer and and we would and it was like people who weren't really in the church or people who were but they weren't really like you know active in their relationship new people also people who were very religious and grew up in a very religious background and either turned away from the church or were, were still in their religious mindsets that God used me to minister to and some people they didn't want to hear it you know that's what everything when it comes to Christ but some people really took heed and some people I even invited to church some people came like oh my gosh testimony of testimony like people came to church with me who who wouldn't have set foot in you know so many different things that God used me to do and it just goes back to being empty vessels and letting God use you for his glory so I have so much more I can say about this I think I might make this like a, like a big video so just to talk about different experiences because this is a big deal but I also want to talk about really really quickly how the enemy always used people too to try to get me off my game to try to keep me in the same Leah that I was in 2019 because we we're in 2023 2019 Leah could never mess with 2023 Leah and it was through all the negative experiences just as much as the positive experiences is just as much as the positive experiences that the devil tried to throw my way to get me off track you know and it was almost as if like many other times I would have like a really great experience at work you know sharing the gospel meeting friends you know doing different things and it would be like a little bit later somebody at my job would try me do something do something vindictive you know and it was just like like you know they say like you don't fight against flesh and blood but you fight against principalities all that it was really that and I, and with the with the spiritual knowledge you know because when i first started i was ready to cuss out people i was i wasn't who i needed to be and god literally like took me out of my cocoon and just put me in, made me a butterfly through just working here and like if you know the place and maybe one day i'll tell you what the place is you gonna be like girl he did all that at that job yes he did all that at that job because god don't care he'll use any and everything he'll use the the littlest things to, to what is it um the foolish things to confound the wise yes come on he'll use the foolish things to confound the wise because at the end of the day he wants souls saved he wants people to be in relationship with him so he'll use little old me from massachusetts at some rinky ding job to get some souls saved to get people free to break off some darkness and i was grateful to be used and i was grateful and i knew that i was doing something right because i would really get attacked like i remember i was praying for somebody next day my boss one of my boss she she would she would just come at me crazy and i'd be like what is, what, what's going on Lord? what i do and it, had to, it was like a pattern like every time i would do something for the lord you know something would happen but i had to remember like girl you're not you're you're irritating somebody's demon you irritate somebody's spirit because you're doing things for christ let only what you do for Christ last. And I just want to leave it with the last testimony I'll say was beginning of 2022, I was praying for a girl one day and me and a coworker of mine were praying for a girl one day. And there was, she was telling me a story about how God had had, he wasn't even just using me. He was using a lot of people in this place. She was speaking to this girl one day when she was at the counter with her talking to her and the Lord told her to start speaking to her about, you know, Christ. And it was a little girl and her mother and the little girl was like the mother's translator. So the little girl spoke good English or whatever. She started talking about Jesus Christ. They started crying. Girl told her, you know, I was thinking about committing suicide today. So many different things, you know. And that moment, I think they were Muslim. That moment, they both said Jesus Christ until they hurt. At some rinky dink store. You don't know what he'll do. And that same day, that same day, there was another girl. And we were praying over her. And we were praying for her. And I don't know if she ever did accept Jesus Christ, but she, the Holy Spirit was moving in the room and she's like, I have chills over my body. Like I have chills over my body. I, I feel I feel different, da, 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 da. And the last testimony of that day, I remember this day for the rest of my life, last testimony of that day, um, the girl told me, you know, she was like, I'm leaving, this is my last day here, but you should come to my church. Come visit, we love to worship God, come, come visit. I was like, okay, yeah, cool, I'll go visit that church. I visited that church and I can say that from that visit, that is now i went to that church in march of 2022 now in january of 2023 i have gone through so many freedom chains breaking off of me at that church and i am now a member of that church 
And I can't even get into the all of it because baby is so much, but God will use everything. If you don't say nothing else, God will use everything. He'll use the foolish things to confine the wise. And he used so many of the situations at this job to mold me, to grow me, to stretch me. And he's not even done. So I know some people may be in jobs and stuff. And I think I'm late for work, but I don't even care. I'll get this testimony out. Some people may be in positions right now where you feel like, like, Lord, like, why am I in this? Like, this has nothing to do with my purpose. Like, this has nothing to do. Like, I feel like I'm called to so much more. And I've always felt that way, too. Like, I'm called to so much more than this. So like, why are you keeping me in here? And it's to all at the end of the day use you and create a vessel in you that he can really get deep into so that stuff that you used to stumble over and stuff that i used to stumble over in 2019 2023 i can say that i i've i've ran my race i've ran my race to the fullest at this place and i was able to do things for christ that will last not being at the big wig jobs and everything but being in a space where he could use me is what will last and i'm so grateful that he did God bless you. I love you. Like I said, I'll talk more about this. I have to get to work because I am late now. But God bless you. I love you. Stay and keep hold to what he's given, given to you right now. Store it over it. There's scripture about that. I'm putting in the bio of what he said to store it over. And remember, every single thing counts and he's using all of it for your good, for other people's good, and for of foremost and the biggest thing for his glory. I love you. Bye.